Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and these are my 10 favorite characters from film in 2017. There were so many big franchise films to come out of 2017, and other really striking, heartfelt, indie, and smaller movies that we got a ton of really great characters. Whether we could relate to them, whether we aspired to be them, or whether they were just really good characters, we were blessed with so many great people put to screen, whether in animation or live action. So this list is the characters that I personally liked the best. Many of these I related to, and others I just saw characteristics to admire. And some I just thought were really well written. And I limited myself to one character per film. Otherwise, this may have turned into a Star Wars countdown. Otherwise, this list may have been kind of dominated by Star Wars, because I just love those characters. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the list. At number 10, I have Thor from Thor Ragnarok. Thor already was my favorite character in the MCU. I just love Thor. I love Chris Hemsworth. I mean, really. What's there not to love? And Ragnarok just heightened my love for Thor as a character. I really enjoyed the character arc we received with him, the lessons he learned throughout the film, and the development he received. He went through struggles he had to really fight through to be the hero at the end of the day, and we finally saw him able to wield the power of thunder and lightning. But his entire journey of self-discovery and having to look within himself to be a better person and better hero was a wonderful journey to be on and just helped add those extra layers to Thor as a character. At number nine, I have Poe Dameron from Star Wars, The Last Jedi. So Poe is on this list for very similar reasons to Thor. His arc in The Last Jedi was really fantastic. The Last Jedi almost was just one big lesson for Poe Dameron to learn. As awesome and badass as he was, as sexy of a character as he continues to be, he doesn't know it all. He doesn't have all the answers, and sometimes he needs to stop and listen. Let others dictate the way the ship is moving. He was played brilliantly yet again by the dashing Oscar Isaac, and I thought that his character went through the biggest transformation out of any of the Star Wars characters in either of the two most recent films thus far. And it just attracted me to the character all the more for it. At number eight, I have Officer K from Blade Runner 2049. It feels weird to relate so well to what's essentially a robot, but Ryan Gosling plays Officer K so well with so much heart, so much feeling, so much nuance, and so much realism that by the end it would feel weird not to relate to this wonderful character. Following along as we watch Officer K unfold this mystery and gather these clues and begin to form his opinions on who this baby is and his role possibly in this entire mystery was fantastic. And then of course the end revelation is just mesmerizing and you feel the emotions right along with this character. You feel feel his struggle to fit in in the world and not really know his place and where he should be. So he's a wonderfully complex character that still remains wonderfully relatable. At number seven, I have Mildred Hayes from Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. One of the most complex, most well-written characters in cinema for 2017. Brought to life beautifully by Frances McDormand. Mildred Hayes was fierce, yet funny. She was dark, yet wounded, and you can feel the sincerity in this woman as she moves through to just search for answers. There is an edge about her. There is a certain aspect of vengeance when it comes to this character. And all the way throughout, you go from feeling, well, I mean, she has a point and maybe she's right to, okay, no, she's a little bit overboard and crazy. She's complex, she's messy, she is just a well-written, well-depicted character that I found just fascinating and thoroughly entertaining to watch on the big screen. At number six, I have Ferdinand from Ferdinand. I just loved this bull. First off, 
he's adorable. He's just so cute that I was instantly drawn in to Ferdinand. But beyond that, his demeanor, his personality, he was warm, he was gentle. He was this intimidating presence with a beautiful heart of gold. Just seeing him sniff the flowers, seeing him interact with this little girl and having him not want to fight, having him like buck that masculine stereotype was all so wonderful. I thought he interacted beautifully well with all of the other characters, including the other bulls, as they kind of learned off of each other about what it means to be a bull and taking the horns in your own life. I found Ferdinand to be possibly the most charming character in all of 2017 and one that I really bonded and connected to. At number five, I have Caesar from War for the Planet of the Apes. Caesar is one of those characters that we've now had three films to bond with, to grow with, to understand, and to watch. And it's been a beautiful and wonderful journey. I think that this film actually painted Caesar in the most complex fashion out of the three thus far. It was something to behold as this strong leader kind of had everything ripped from under him, where he now had to problem solve and step up and show these leadership traits that we knew he had that he had to kind of find within himself again. And then you see this great leader just broken and it's heart-wrenching but it also becomes inspiring. And the most fascinating part about Caesar's journey in War for the Planet of the Apes was as he gets to understand Koba from the past film, as he begins to understand vengeance and the consuming nature of vengeance and balancing that anger with peace. And I just thought it all worked so well. It was brought to life beautifully by all of the animators and illustrators as well as Andy Serkis. Caesar is just a fantastic character and this was a beautiful conclusion to his trilogy. At number four, I have Eliza Esposito from The Shape of Water. I absolutely fell in love with Eliza as I watched The Shape of Water. As a Hispanic LGBT member of the nerd geek community, yeah, there's been a ton of times that I just feel like an outsider. Amongst the geek community, amongst other communities I identify with, amongst the human population at large, it's easy to feel like some sort of an outsider. So it's easy to relate to Eliza as you watch The Shape of Water. She's mute and she gets this attention from someone who doesn't know that she's mute or that she's different or as she says, she's broken, she's incomplete. And obviously that's relatable to anybody who has felt like an outsider, who's felt like a weirdo, someone who doesn't fit in. But furthermore, she has such a warm heart and she has such a beaming personality. Seeing her, she does her tap dances after watching them in old classic films or fantasizing about having that moment where she gets to dance with her gentleman in the spotlight. And it all just played out so beautiful. And it's such an achievement to see a character brought to life with so much heart, so much compassion, and she doesn't even speak a word. She doesn't even say any of her own lines of dialogue. It's wonderful, it's beautiful, and I fell in love with the character as I also found myself really relating to her. At number three, I have Professor Xavier from Logan. I have to admit, I jockeyed back and forth on whether to include Professor X or Logan himself in this spot because they were both fantastic in their film. I ultimately went with Professor Xavier because he was in such a different place than we have ever seen Sir Patrick Stewart's professor in any of the films. Like seeing him in that dome and the state he was in when we began this movie was completely devastating. And his performance was so fantastic. And we got to see as he peeled back those layers and unveiled his story of how we got to this point with him. And it was heartbreaking. But then we would get laughs and we would get moments of joy with this beloved character once more. And then that scene in the bed while he is telling Logan about what happened and just speaking about how great it was to have this time. Oh, 
I mean, it's an amazing moment. This was another amazing farewell to a character that we have loved for so long from an actor that has depicted this character so beautifully over the years. And we finally got a complex, complicated, messy Professor Xavier, and it was beautiful. At number two, I have Diana Prince, aka Wonder Woman, from Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman pretty much embodied it all. Whether she was in her superhero outfit or she was walking the streets as good old Diana Prince. She was the perfect mix of like badass woman with soft femininity. She had that air of intelligence and wisdom about her while also being completely naive. She had a sternness and a fierceness of a warrior while also being completely gentle and loving and understanding. And it was all beautifully brought to the screen by Gal Gadot, and I think it made for one of the most well-rounded, inspiring characters that we've had in cinema in some time, actually. And then we get down to the nitty-gritty when Diana realizes what humanity is all about. When she realizes what the true enemy actually is in this scenario. And seeing that character transformation and growth was beautiful. So she was just everything. She had a great character arc. She already was wonderful to start. She ended up in this amazing place as just a purely great character of film. And then at number one, I have Elio Perlman from Call Me By Your Name. I related so much to this character that he instantly spoke to me. Right from that beginning stage of having a crush on someone that you kind of don't want to have a crush on, that you're like, oh, are they really someone I should have a crush on? And like trying to convince yourself that they're annoying or they're arrogant or you're gonna hate them, you can't, you can't do this, and trying to push that person away so that you don't develop the feelings you already know are there. Plus, I loved his kind of like sarcasticness underneath that like layer of positivity, that complete naivety with the innocence underneath his intelligence. The complete natural and beautiful transformation from that beginning crush all the way through that experience of having your first love and then through the heartbreaks and the revelation of heartbreak and what it means to go through these emotions, it all was just so beautiful. I don't think there's a more real character that was brought to life in any film in 2017. I don't think there was a character I personally related to anywhere close to how I related to Elio in 2017. And it was all brought to life expertly by Timothy Chalamet, who depicted this character so genuinely that, I mean, it was moving. And then you get that final scene you feel with Elio. It was just, it was gorgeous. It was beautiful, and my experience with this character and with this film has been almost indescribable since seeing it. So I couldn't put anybody else at number one on my favorite characters in film for 2017. So that is my list of my favorite characters in film for 2017. What did you think of my list, and who are your favorite characters that came out this year? Let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter and if you liked this video make sure to hit like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. I love you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!